You know what time it is! It's time to do questionably horrible things to questionably worse people! Or... I don't know, they're, they might not even be bad people, but we're doing some bad things to people in Nine Souls. But yeah, anyway, hi, hello. I like to do face cam every once in a while. In fact, I'd like to do more face cam. The reason I have it, for this game and other games, I've been dealing with migraines horribly. <laughs> it's been pretty bad. But now I kind of sort of have them like under control. Also, uh, for some reason, God decided it would be hot today where I live and my air conditioning is super loud. So if I start sweating, I'm not having a horrible migraine or a stroke. It's because it's a hundred and something degrees in my room, and I, uh... It's a small room, <laughs> and it's... One computer basically heats this whole thing. Really quickly! So, hey, you know what? You're along for the ride, the same way as I'm along for this ride. We know we have to go left, though. Left is the thing. West is what I was told, so I am trying to do that. We also have a few new abilities that we did not have previously. So, uh, when I was thinking last time that maybe I went the wrong way, so possibly I was doing the dumb, uh, that was just not true, because there was only one way to go at that time. Oh, I just, I walked in fire, <laughs> just like a big dummy. But yeah, you know, I thought last time maybe I went the wrong way. You can't go the wrong way! There's only certain ways that this game will allow you to go, because... Because you have certain abilities that let you get by certain areas. And that's it. That's all it boils down to. So I had to go the way I went in order to get my bow for Kwafu. And then again, in order to get my charged attack that now can bust through shields. I'm sure there's probably like some point in this game where you can... Obviously there's speedrunning techniques where you can like skip whole areas and you don't even need certain abilities. Um, but I am also not speedrunner, as well as, uh, not worried about, uh, skipping certain areas. I want to experience the game. And I think that's going to be fun to share with everyone. I, I don't think we all, I, I think we all kind of want to see what this game has to offer. At least a little bit. Also, some people have been kind of asking how you kind of know what, like, when to block and when not to block, and... I'm not really much of a, like, a do tutorials kind of guy, because there are so many amazing channels who have basically, like, perfected the art of explaining things. And I don't explain things very well. But I've decided maybe I'll throw my hat in the ring. Maybe I'll take up the gauntlet, the mantle, the challenge, and just tell everyone, the second you see the white flash, there is, like, it's like one second or half a second, depending on how your counting is in your head. There is a amount of time after you see the white flash of the first attack that lets you know that it's a blockable attack. The same way as if you see a red flash, you have to dodge it. And that's the, really the simplicity of the fighting mechanics. Why is this room like this? Is this something I'm going to have to find l later? Oh, it's one of these rooms. It's like the st it's like the stairs in Mario 64. Oh my god, something's happening! Guys, I'm doing it! I'm doing a thing! <laughs> I, sometimes my stupidity knows no bounds. I can also find secrets in a game by doing only the same thing over and over. <laughs> I, lo I don't love it. I changed my mind. I don't like it. Take it back. I take it back! I take it back! I don't take it back, but I take it back. <laughs> oh, it's following me now. Ooh. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to go this way. Mm, but I'm scared now. That actually... There's times when some of these games like that... Especially when you're, like, in the moment and you can hear it, like, in your head because of my headphones. Um, It really does scare you a little bit. The statues are odd to me. Okay. Give me this for a second. I am I know I'm all over the place sometimes, and most of the time I will agree with you, but this one, follow my train of thought here. The statues here, they seem to be of Solarians, right? But it's not like my age group Solarians. 
Like, ye. These are like ancient Solarians. You know, what really kind of confuses me about the whole thing... Oh my god, did I accidentally do a thing? Oh my god, I accidentally did a thing! I'm so happy with myself! Let's get out of there. Uh, you shouldn't stand in fire. It kind of hurts. I shouldn't stand in fire either. But that's why I can teleport through it. Anyway, they're ancient. But so, supposedly the Solarians moved here. And Yi remembers it. Think about that. Yi remembers... So why is it that these statues of these ancient Solarians exist? That suggests one of two things. The first is this planet was an ancient Solarian, like, colony before it became their main planet because their planet died for some reason. The second possible reason is that these ancient Solarians were so narcissistic that they thought so highly of themselves that they thought, ooh, you know what would be awesome on this new planet for us because we're too stupid to protect our own planet? Um, you know, because since we're so darn awesome and we're amazing at killing planets, we should totally have our own statues. And they made other Solarians and people build their statue for them. Friend, it's you. Hey, do you have a Healy spot? Because uh, if you don't, I'm screwed. Sir Yi, it's been a while. How fair thee? D dying. Dead. Almost. I'd prefer if you didn't get so intimate after just a few encounters? What? Why? They're friendly! I, friends are hard to come by here! An assertion that falls short. In these inaccessible wilds, we must cherish every encounter. I like this one. Even though it's supposed to be like a BattleBot 9000 or something like that. Besides, oh... To tell you the truth, I am currently in a spot of trouble. Would you be willing to render assistance? With your skills, it should be a walk in the park. Uh, bridge connecting westward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, lift is out. I have recently learned that my brother, whom I have been trying to find to contact them about their warranty on their vehicle, uh, resides somewhere across that bridge. And if I can get there, I get a bonus. Uh, I came here in a great hurry. Oh, wait. No, that's not what it says. It says, my hope is that you will be able to lower the bridge and grant me the opportunity to reunite with my brother to rip out his heart while it still beats because he ripped out my heart the day he stole my girl and ran off not only did i lose a loved one but i also lost my brother probably not it's probably going to be some crappy kumbaya moment where they're like oh we could be brothers again i mean why am i rooting for a sad ending Shouldn't I want happy endings for everybody? <laughs> I think it's just this game. This game has, like, spoiled that for me. If if nobody can be happy, then nobody's gonna be happy. Kind of thing. And that sounds stupid when I say it like that, but... That's kind of what this game has been leading me toward. It's been programming me to expect only the worst things to happen to people. This feels like a place where I might get another ability. Maybe a double jump or a wall kick? Something that will let me, like, climb off of the wall? Maybe a red tiger elite? Oh, wait. I recognize this one. I fought this one before. This is the first one. This one is super easy to time up. The only real downside is they have an incredible backswing. And with that follow through, they also drop, apparently, stalag tights. Yes, uh, I think tights are the upper one and might are the lower ones, I guess. I don't know. I'm not rockologist. <laughs> oh, no. No, I gotta go all the way back there. Whatever shall I do? Not you. You're already back there right now. But it took me a long time to get back here, so... See, this is why the explosions matter. Because once you've figured out where your opening is, you just plant the bombs. Those do way more damage. I should just keep figuring out how to use those more. Because they are so helpful. Oh, what is this thing going to do to me now? I think we're getting a new ability. That usually means a new ability. Yes. 
That is the the circle of new ability. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be yin and yang, but that is for me, it is the circle of new ability. If one kicks their leg very fast, they could propel themselves for Now I can dodge in midair. That's what I always wanted. Thank you, game. Appreciate you finally listening to me. I, that has been like this is becoming a bottleneck. No, it's not actually. You just do that, and then you can just hop across and just combine them. Ooh, and it's teaching you that you, once you've hit it, you can dash again. That's perfect. Wonderful. This will be useful for moving effortlessly among hordes of combatants. You don't say! I could have used this like eight or nine other times I can think of. In fact, that's the appeal of this exquisite technique. Yes, I agree. I... I, that's the one thing I've been missing this entire time. I am most certainly going to use this to my advantage. Oh, that feels so good to have an air dash. You have no idea how many times I've hit the button in the air. <laughs> been like, please, please just dash. Because uh, I have a bad habit of being in the air too much, especially in this game. But I am so grateful. And I think part of it is, uh, uh that was a, a bad habit I picked up in Hollow Knight, because it got me in and out of way more situations than I care to admit. But why not use it? Use all skills to your- if the game's gonna give it to you, you use it. And abuse it. Uh-huh. Okay, more of my engrams. D did I call in my airstrike on my team? I've heard that's the most popular way to use- oh, god. What are those? Are those people? They look like people. Why would you do this to people? I mean, I get why you're doing it to the peoples. Uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. I don't. <laughs> Hi, what are you? Most of the other ones were animals. Uh, I don't know what kind of animal you are. For what purpose do you journey to my humble repository? I'm here to take out the trash. Mm -hmm. Your words conceal other uh, intentions. If you could lay down your arms, perhaps we could sit down and converse. I thought Lord Yan Lao, a man of propriety, would greet me in person. Young man, there is no need to be defiant. I am aware of your plight. Your mentor, Egong, did indeed wrong you. You are justified in your... I'm here for you, not a gong. Ahem. <coughs> Allow me to finish. As I was saying, given your suffering, your current agitation is understandable. Even so, ponder this with a clear mind. Time cannot be rewound. Your relentless pursuit will only result in destruction, nothing more. Oh, it's been a while since I've done that one. Heed my advice. Sometimes, one must learn to forgive and forget. You murderers want to lecture me about forgiveness? What a joke. I, I miss my mantis claws. I want to climb up there. <laughs> no, I'm sure eventually we might get something that lets me do a little bit of a wall run, but that's fine. If the, if the game is designed to not allow me to do these things that are super awesome and amazing, I understand. That's the bridge I needed. Ooh, hey, bud, I did a thing. You owe me a favor. I don't know what the favor is that I need from you, but um, I need a favor. No words can express my gratitude for what you have done. If you're willing, I would like to bequeath you with a treasure as a token of gratitude. I mean, sure, I will take a treasure, I guess. What kind? Hold on. Everyone that gives me stuff in this game is it's either crap or it's dangerous. If you would like to barter, ask away. I shall await your departure before moving on. What? Oh, okay. This is it. When HP reaches zero for the first time, you will revive and regain 25% health. That's actually really good. That's like a free heal because right now our inhaler does... Um, it does not much. I was just running this way, just see if there's anything new. Shanshan may have actually learned to play the flute. 
We gave them sheet music in the last one. I'm not sure if I... Re I don't remember if I left that part in. But we told them to learn to play the flute, and I guess they're doing it. It better be a heck of a good song, though, because she's a jerk. So, uh, we'll tell you if it's not. You're finally back. The performance can't start without an audience. Aw, Sean, Sean, you're melting my heart. Now play well, otherwise you can be thrown out on your face. What performance? The sheet music. You said to play something for you, so I practiced a lot. Oh, yeah, of course. I remember. Do we? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. You probably thought I wouldn't be able to handle it. You're right. I thought you picked it up on a whim. No way. I practiced every day. Getting used to the new Solarian uh, fingering wasn't easy, though, because you cats have more hand or more fingers than we humans do. I can vouch for Sean Chun's daily practice. He's quite talented now. <laughs> if, if anyone uh, has those memories of the old days when they would hand you a recorder and be like, here, make a note, and it was just screeching, I would try to make that sound, but I'm afraid I will actually hurt somebody's ears. <laughs> That's just the ridiculousness of the sound. You are picturing the sound in your head right now. I didn't have to do anything. You're picturing it. That's how much of a pinnacle collective memory that one is. That screech of a recorder. <laughs> okay, so Sean Chad, please don't make recorder screech noise. Please make beautiful music. What's weird about this piece is the more you want to play well, the worse it sounds. What? Is that just an excuse for why it sounds like crap? Oh no, actually, it's beautiful. Oh yeah. Lay right into that vibrato. That's going to help. Okay, I thought it was only two notes. <laughs> it sounds good. It sounds beautiful. It sounds like one of those... You know how sometimes when you have a hard time sleeping? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I turn on, like... I type into YouTube, Zen music, and or music to sleep to. That's what that sounds like. I'm kind of proud of little Sean Sean. As much as I have no reason to be because I'm... It's not like I'm really Sean Sean's papa or anything. But Yi and Sean Sean, they really kind of have connected over the years, it feels like. So much so that we totally blew our cover to save little Sean Sean in the beginning. That is absolutely incredible. Shows so much growth on the, the part of Yi and just shows how much these two mean to one another. And I love it. Ah, mm-hmm. Let's go this way a second. <laughs> That's a big robot, dude. No, thank you. Now, uh, yes. Virtual reality device. Oh, I can give Sean Sean that. He's gonna love it. Oh man, he was just learning to play the flute too, was really getting really good with the instruments. Gonna be a musician one day, and now they're gonna grow up to play video games for a living. Gosh, I'm so embarrassed and ashamed. <laughs> oh, I can hack this? I want this! Oh my god, I've always want- I'm inside of it! Yes! Boom! <laughs> game! I love it when games do this. You're so weak, and then they give you some big monstrosity to use. I can't jump, but boy, if I could. Oh, and this was going to be how I was going to get through here and destroy all those people I struggled against. Because look, I essentially one-shot these things. Okay, turn around, buddy. Block it. Or not. Actually, I don't take fire damage, so I think I'm okay. Oh, of course I don't take fire damage. I am a robot. Oh, these are explosives, though. I need to be careful with those. I think I still take a little bit of damage if I'm not cautious. But I don't think I take enough damage that it's really much to worry about. Oh, I don't want to eject right here. I want to keep going. There's so much of this place to destroy. But I can have it back? Oh, game, I have instantly fallen in love with you. 10 out of 10. I can just use this. 
Warehouse data. Okay, nothing important. Anyone that wants to read it, feel free. Read it. Awesome. Uh, thank you. If it's anything cool or super important, please tell me. Hide inside a container? Sneaking my way through security, I guess. Uh, am I trying to get on a plane or what? Is it going to show me as an x-ray? Uh, that would be hilarious. Oh, I guess I kind of do see myself through there. I just thought it would be fun if they, like, x-rayed it. Like, that one above as they were going through. Ooh, are we... Are we daydreaming again? We do this a lot. Okay, here's my theory, okay? This is just a theory. Hang doesn't exist. At least not hang in, like, the sense of hang. Hang might exist as, like, someone just barely hanging on or, like, some sort of mutated super soldier or something like that. These games are good about that. But hang doesn't exist. They don't call us. Whenever we have downtime, they just happen to call then. That doesn't work that way. This is a daydream. We are hallucinating. This is the hang as we remember them. That's my theory. Let's see if I can put that to the test when we get closer to the end of this game. How are you doing, dear brother? Today, the last store in town closed its doors. Life has become a lot more inconvenient. See what I'm saying? You see it, don't you? I'm not making this crap up. It's true. The other thing is we could also be losing our mind because we are so, like, infused with this technology. This could technically be just a... The technology is slowly dying. We are slowly dying. And this is our last journey. But, you know, also, that's why we're remembering everything. It, it's not your life flashing before your eyes. It's a gradual flash because we are gradually dying. Oh, <laughs> they just pop inside of the pickling jars, huh? Ew, it smells like pickled vegetables in here. Keep it down or mom and dad will find us. It's okay, mom's looking for you way over in the other courtyard. Um, she'll never find us here, I promise. I knew you'd say that. Fine, then I'll just stay right here. Can you read it to me? How do you pronounce that? I'll... Hmm. Oh, you're squishing me. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I I really do think that this might be Yi's dying memories, though. This might be their... You know, they should have died a long time ago. But unfortunately, like... Or fortunately, I guess, they survived. And now they're going through this hardship, trying to atone probably for something that they've done. Because it sounds like they were really pinnacle in whatever happened here. Oh, yep, there we are. Yep, it did definitely x-rayed us. And spat us out. Can I hide again and it take me back? Probably. Okay, so that's how I'm getting back and forth from whatever this area is and the other area. Now I'm going to try to find myself a safe spot. And barring any sort of weird complications or interesting parts that uh, that show up randomly, I'm going to leave this one here and we'll finish this in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care and goodbye!